Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we are going to talk about caroms and using them to make your pockets bigger. What is a carom? If you don't know what a carom is, it is when we send our object ball off of another object ball and preferably towards the pocket. It allows us to make some shots that might be lower percentage shots. It also allows us to break up clusters. And thirdly, it allows us to make shots that might be impossible. Have one coming up for you a little bit later. So here, if we were banking this eight ball back here into this corner pocket, there's two things we could do. We could send our eight ball up here. Let's say we wanted to break up this cluster. We could break up the cluster and make our ball. The other thing that we could do is aim to make sure we miss the cluster and that way if these are our opponent's balls, we don't want to touch them. We are actually going to avoid the carom. So we do have to make the shot. We can't play the old, uh, I can be off quite a bit and still make it. We actually have to put it in the pocket directly. So sometimes you don't want to involve yourself with the cluster, sometimes you do. But what we're gonna focus on today is using these clusters to make some shots that normally would be impossible or very difficult. It doesn't have to be a difficult end-to-end -end bank shot. If I'm down here and I have to play the eight in that corner pocket, I could actually be off all the way over here and still make the shot. So that's what we're talking about today. This video is not so much about caroms as it is about bigger pockets. And what does that mean? On our opening shot, we had our cluster there. And we were aiming for the cluster, but without the cluster, if we shot our bank shot, we'd have to shoot it pretty well to end up in this pocket. But with the cluster there, we could be off by a good three or four inches and still make the ball. So when we talk about bigger pockets, because of the clusters, that's what we're talking about. But this also means shots that are impossible otherwise like playing the three in the side. Well, we have this cluster here that can kind of act as an off-ramp for us. If we hit the cluster just right, we can play this in the side if everything else was occupied. Now, it's not a high percentage shot, but it is what I like to call very makeable. <laughs> so it's not high percentage, but as you can see, it is makeable. So you have situations where the pockets aren't just bigger for relatively easy shots, but they're open for impossible shots. Now, let's visit this shot for a second because this is very important. Those of you that are really good with bank shots might have an issue with this. <laughs> and it's funny that the better you are with bank shots, the more these shots give you trouble. The reason is if you're good at bank shots and you shoot them intuitively, which you all know that's the way I believe in shooting them, you aim for this pocket without thinking about it. So when I set that up for people, they are always aiming for the pocket and they bypass the cluster and they end up down here. One of the things you have to do is you have to fool yourself. Okay, I'm not aiming here, I'm aiming over there. Imagine now that your pocket is here because this is your target coming off of the rail. If you can visualize your pocket being over here about a diamond away, you will have a better idea what that angle is and you will have much better chances of making that shot. It's not an easy shot for even good bank shot shooters, but it becomes more and more difficult as you're accustomed to aiming for the pockets. Here's a concept that I want you to take away with you today. If I'm playing the red ball in that corner pocket and I've got my two black balls there, I have a large pocket. Even though I don't have a little off ramp like I did with some of the other shots, the fact that this ball is within two inches of that pocket makes the pocket that much larger. So some of the times when you're analyzing, am I gonna take this bank shot or not? Am I gonna take this long shot down table, which we're gonna look at in a second, or not? Ask yourself, is that pocket larger now?
because those balls are there? If that's the case, you can be off a little bit. That shot was off by a good two inches. It doesn't even rattle if I hit that spot. It is a miss. So think about that before you take a shot. Hey, is this pocket larger? If you have a choice of pockets, maybe you take the one that has the larger pocket. So here's a very similar situation. You've all experienced this. You are off on your shot, but the balls are close to the pocket. Your pocket is much larger now. You can come down and be off by a full two inches and still make that shot. What you have to do that you might not have been doing before is see those situations and make decisions based on those situations. Now, I will warn you of something. This is your bonus. <laughs> Sometimes when you're shooting those shots, the bank shot, the straight in shot, whichever one, Sometimes when you're shooting those shots, you were trying to hit the cluster. Sometimes you're trying to go straight in. And sometimes you are concerned about hitting the cluster because it represents something that you don't want to change up on the table. Now, this is very important. Do not let your last thought be, don't hit the cluster, because you will hit it each and every time, okay? Don't let your thoughts go there. Your brain can't comprehend the word don't. It just hears hit the cluster, okay? Be careful. Think to yourself, go straight in the pocket. And if you're trying to hit the cluster, think to yourself, just a little left to the pocket. But be careful that inner thoughts, that, that inner conversation that you have with yourself, be careful that it is in the correct tense and that it has the meaning that is going to give you a positive outcome, not try to avoid a negative outcome. That's our video for the day. I am sure some of you got away with something that you could use that you didn't have quite in your game before. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, check out this video as we always like to tell you because this one is very interesting and will take you to the next step. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Brian, that was amazing.